<clears throat> Hi Capricorn, this is your reading for the time period of November 1st to November 30th, 2020. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel or you're just visiting, welcome to Amani's Lightwork, okay? So my apologies for having not been on the channel for some time, um, just busy taking care of personal matters, etc. Okay, so um, if you don't know what deck this is that I'm using, these are Ramses tarot cards, okay? All right, let's see. All right, so the Page of Pentacles energy is underneath. Um, you could be showing up like this, but typically it means uh, a new job environment. Um, or if it's not necessarily a new job environment, then it's just a new role that you may be playing in a job that you're already in. Um, but make sure, like, what's, one thing that's coming to mind is to make sure that you do make sure that... Um, the tax information is collected from this, um, you know, whereas you're dealing with your pay stubs and um, if you get like electronic or uh, direct deposit or anything like that, or if you get your checks mailed to you and payments and things of that nature, just make sure that um, the tax is aligned. Uh, make sure that the taxes are correct, you, uh, correctly calculated, um, the withholdings if there's any at all, deductions if there's any at all, etc. So just make sure that you keep an, an eye out for that, um, you know, this part of the year going into um, the next year, okay? Because that's when you, you will be doing filing and things of that nature, okay? Um, I also get this idea possibly for you. Um, if you are considering taking up another position, so if you already have one, then there may be a need to take up another one as well, um, and it's probable, which means that you will succeed in both, okay? Just make sure that the taxes and um, for however many jobs that you have, if you have one, if you feel the need to pick up another one, just make sure that you have the tax information and everything is properly in order for tax season um, with however, for, with the pertaining to the paperwork of however many jobs that you do have, okay? Um, the Cam Cups energy is here in the starting point. So Cam Cups could be a family member, they could be a co-worker, they could be a friend, a partner, etc. Um, if you don't know what Cam Cups energy is, um, the signs that go with Cam Cups would be Cancer, and Scorpio, and Pisces elements that are males. Um, but I get this idea that they may have your tax information. Um, you could be responsible for the reason that they do, or they could have just went into the system to get it or retrieve it. Um, for example, if you are missing a really important document that you do need for work or that you do need a file, they may have it already, or they were already given a copy of it, or they could already went into the system to retrieve the copy that you could be saying that is missing, or something that they're trying to do separately. They could have went into the system to retrieve that that part of the document for themselves. Um, I'm also getting this idea to give it to another co-worker or to give it to another family member, to give to your partner, etc. Um, something is also done without your permission, so there may be a need to investigate into what someone may be doing. So if they're a supervisor, um, if they're a co-worker, etc., you may need to uh, find out who they are. And um, But I get this idea that they talk about it. So someone that you connected to, that you see every day, that you work with, or you live with, they may talk about it every day. And the talking about it every day could mean that if you're expressing to someone else that, you know, hey, something isn't right about my information, something is missing here, um, something is, you know, I need to find something, whatever it is, they already have details on what you are inquiring about that is lost or missing. They already have details or they're, or they're responsible 
for the reason into why you're even asking those questions. So there's a need to investigate into the matter uh, pertaining to this person. Then talking about it would mean that they come to you directly to talk about it or they talk about it to another coworker or a family member um, that pretty much gets that inside information pertaining to what you have going on. If it's only documents and uh, document information and IDs and things for work, then it's just information that um personal it's just personal information that they do have on you and that personal personal information could be information that you already shared with them or it could be personal information that you it could be personal information that you already shared with someone else that that person reiterated to them if you want to look at it that way all right The wedding position has the Knight of Swords energy. Knight of Swords will be air sign. So air sign, um, Aquarian, Libra, and Gemini energies that are air signs. Um, the spirit is telling me that they do work with the camp cuts or they communicate with the camp cuts energy pertaining. I, I keep getting this idea of a lost document or a missing document or a misplaced document. So those documents could be a copy of birth certificate. Uh, it could be like a main or official copy be of a birth certificate it could be an id it could be a passport it could be uh could even be blood work from a doctor i consider to also be some form of a document or a document pertaining to you signing your signature um to start a new position in the workplace that you already have um that something along those lines an air sign um may have already been given or they know where it is or they saw someone take it whatever it is it depends or they saw someone search it up or they saw someone um, wherever you last saw the document they may have seen they're responsible for why it's gone or where you last saw the document where you last had it they know okay where you last had it they know who took it from that last spot that you did have it in if it's an air sign element so that could be online that could be in the workplace that could be at home that could be wherever it is wherever your workplace environment is their communication is to the cam cups energy because whatever you're looking for the cam cups energy may need so hence it's causing a problem in between the cam cups energy and the air sign element that here because they do work together or they do communicate with each other um the spirit is also telling me that they do lie to each other as well so air sign may be lying to king of cups king of cups may be lying to the um i almost said king of swords yes it could be a male air sign that is showing up here they may lie to each other one or the other but it's pertaining to lost document it's pertaining to paperwork um it's pertaining to signature birth certificate whatever it is that is pertaining to you that the king of cups energy does need okay so this could be something that you um in terms of your involvement within these two elements their communication what's happening is that you may know one element about it is that you may know that the king of cups energy does need that all right but what's happening is you can't find it to get to the king of cups energy that's one and the air sign element may be responsible for why for why it is missing or they know something about why it's missing or who or they know something about someone that did take it or did look it up or they do have a copy of it etc that's one scenario about it then there's another situation here where you don't know where a specific document is and the king of cups energy may have it and the air sign element is looking for it and the air sign may be asking the king of cups energy where is his or hers this that and the third Third, and the King of Cups energy is lying to the air sign element. That's whether they're male or female. I don't know where it is, etc. Um, but it's for benefits too. One element about it, it is for benefits. It could be workplace benefits, um, like health benefits. It could be mail that you could be looking for. But someone, someone feels... Okay, someone, if this is like mail and benefits and those kind of things, someone, if it's the King of Cups, they, something about, something that you receive in the mail, they may use on themselves. They may use on themselves or something, the air sign element that is a male, it could be male or female, something that they use helps the King of Cups, something that they use that is pertaining to you 
it helps the king of cups energy so it could be documents it could be like a card um it could be like a special id that you have duplicated it could be a special id that you have that is duplicated that either the air sign is responsible for duplicating it or making a duplicate copy of it or the king of cups energy is responsible for making a duplicate copy of it in whatever environment that this is happening in but another scenario is that either one of those elements is lying to the other about where that duplicate duplicate ID is or that copy or a card is that either one of them needs but you may know you may know that that is happening or you don't know that that's happening it just depends on how the energy is coming through if it's not anything like that then it's just a workplace environment where you're set up to work with king of cups possibly and it's a night which means that you could just be waiting on an air sign element to come in but replace so there's an air sign could be replacing the okay, the air sign could be coming in to replace the king of cups the king of cups to be coming in to replace the air sign and whatever however you want to look at replace um getting a replacement could just be getting like a new partner like love partner or work partner however you want to look at that or an assistant this could be something what's happening here with information and ids and cards and documents could be a slip up that an assistant made or a co-worker made whatever it is and the replacement could be that could be a mistake that a king of cups energy made the replacement is having an air sign element come in but also makes mistakes they may also be making some type of mistake in whatever scenario it is here mistake with uh processing some type of document or card that you do have or just not knowing where it is that's one mistake mistake with uh the uh misplacing it mistake with sharing it was mistake with sharing it with someone that may already have it whatever it is whatever the mis whatever you deem to be a mistake with one of those elements there <sighs> the present has the sign of libra as a justice card um the knight of swords could be a libra that's there could be whatever air sign but a libra showing up here is just justice uh because of something that you're finding out that is happening with the king of cups energy there you know and it could be something that they've been doing for years um i get when you got hired it's something that someone has been doing since you got hired somewhere so it could be a new job that with the page of pentacles energy underneath it could be a new job that you are getting this month or well this month meaning november it could be a new job and someone that's responsible for processing your information made a mistake someone that's responsible for processing your information may be or potentially they may have made a mistake it could be something that already happened like they could be making a mistake because for example say you work somewhere okay I'm trying to understand because it, it was giving me the idea of taxes and everything say you already work somewhere but you're just you're just you just may have a new responsibility going into the next year in the same workplace so what's happening is that if your tax information and things of that nature can comes energy is responsible for that make duplicate copies they just make duplicate copies of whatever it is that you have a pertaining to information with a new responsibility that you do have in the same um in the same workplace that you are in with them but the reason why they did that or they're trying to do that or they're helping somebody else to do that is for some type of really interesting benefit that they are trying to obtain so that could be something the air sign is trying to do or that i get for somebody else that's something the air sign is trying to do for someone else that's something the king of cups energy is trying to do for the air sign that's something the king of cups energy is trying to do for someone else that is not the air sign or they're trying to do that for themselves, whatever it is, but going to get caught. So the Libra in the present or it's just justice is that one of those elements may be getting caught. Could be a Libra that's going to get caught. Could be a King of Cups that's going to get caught. So either one of those elements, they're either trying to help you or benefit themselves. They're trying to benefit themselves. So however you want to look at information and documents, doesn't have to be something that you're given along with a Social Security when you're born not those kind of documents that could be the case as well too somebody's trying to benefit along uh with taxes and those kind of things that's one scenario but then documents and information could also be some type of special expertise that you do have something that's written and they want to use something that's written air sign may want to use or a king of cups energy may want to use libra may want to use whatever 
some type of document that you wrote for school or you were uh, or that you wrote for your workplace the Cam Cups energy may want to use, but or they already have like duplicated and the air sign is coming in to get that. Or you gave something like that to the Cam Cups and the air sign element is coming in to get that. Or you gave something like that to the Cam Cups to do something with and the air sign, but it's for the air sign and the Cam Cups energy could have misplaced it or they used it in the air sign element. Where is it? The air sign could be coming in and asking you where it is all the time or that that's just something that they may end up doing because they don't know something yet or they don't know what happened to some type of document that you wrote or some type of document that you've had since birth <laughs> they don't know where that document is yet or how it's being used or who's using it and then there's another scenario here where either one of these elements they benefit from making duplicate copies of a special ID that I supposed to have. There's a special ID that you're supposed to have that either one of these elements that they, they were may were supposed to okay, there was one of these elements responsibility may have been to give you that ID. That's one and you have it or you don't have it. And then but they they have it but not trying to give it to you. They may have it but they're not trying to give it to you. That's one scenario if you don't have it already or you have it and somebody just making copies of it to use. But something about the ID something about the ID it gives them benefits over you but it's a really an ID that you're supposed to have so this could be something that's happening to you in a workplace environment with the air sign and the key of cups energy some type of ID or it's just information so if it's an ID for example there's certain IDs for example like in New York City there's IDs that you can obtain that they're like free passes so you don't have to wait online for certain things if you work with the DOE if you work with um department of uh you know investigation or uh the DOH etc there's IDs that you can obtain but someone may someone mail it someone is supposed to mail um someone is supposed to mail that to you and they oh i understand someone okay you may have gotten it in the mail and someone didn't give you the piece of mail that had the id in it or you got okay or it's getting it got mailed and you didn't and you okay it got mailed and someone else is using it but they're not telling you that you did okay they're not telling you that you did get that you did get it in the mail but what's happening is that they're using it or that's something that is happening in the workplace environment where someone in your workplace is supposed to mail you that ID, but they're just using an ID or they're just not giving you the ID. So one element could be something could be stolen along those lines like that, you know, or you may want to inquire about it's, there's also this element of inquiring about some type of IDs, a special ID. Or state some type of not like a state ID, like an ID that will gain you access into certain things without, you know, so that they know that you work for this organization, this corporation, you know, or there's benefits to using the ID. But someone either either one scenario is someone either didn't mail it to you or they mailed it and someone else that you're tied to is using it and they're not giving it to you, whatever it is, just really interesting. And that's one scenario with IDs. And then there's a, cu a couple of other things happening here with information and documents or something that is written that someone else needs, that someone else you gave it to to look at, they didn't give it back, whatever it is. It's a lot of stuff going on there. All right, the future has the Ten of Cups energy there. And the instincts has the lover sign of Gemini. So now you've got a Gemini energy in the mix along with a Libra. I wouldn't be surprised if an Aquarian shows up here as well too, but a Gemini is here and a Libra is here, you know? A Gemini is in the instincts because um, um, a Gemini is in the instincts, they may be a coworker, family member, or friend that knows, supposed to have, something is going on with something that you're supposed to have, something that you're supposed to have, they know where it is or they know who has it, something like that. Or it's a Libra that knows where something is or they know who has it or they know how something is being used between these two air signs or one of them culprit. One of them is a culprit for that information I just gave a couple of minutes ago. One of them is a culprit of that. So it's a Libra or it's a Gemini or it's a King of Cups, you know, but asking for something back. So when I hit the King of Cups, they, they're asking for something back. 
They're asking a Gemini for something that belongs to you back. <laughs> they're asking a Libra for something that belongs to you back. Or they're asking you for something back. Or you're asking them for something back. You could be asking the King of Cups energy for something back that the air sign has. And they're like, they don't know what to do. <laughs> that's that's why the justice by itself, justice energy is there by itself, period. You, or you're just asking for something, period, that is work-related, school-related, document ID-related. You're asking the King of Cups energy that, and they have it themselves, or it's one of the air signs that, it's one of the air sign elements that does have it, that they're not telling, okay, they're not telling the King of Cups energy that they do have it, or the King of Cups energy just knows that one of them has it, and they're not saying anything about it. Whatever it is. Just really, it's a really convoluted, situated, it's a really convoluted situation to be in. Especially if this has anything to do with taxes and benefits and those kind of things. Because what's going on with it, it can it can mess up someone it, that's trying to benefit. It can mess up someone that is trying to benefit. So it's a Gemini, it's a King of Cups, or it's a Libra. You know? Or something that they did. You know? Or something that the King of Cups energy did. That you, something that the King of Cups energy did, you're relying on the air sign energy to fix or bring you back the information, bring something back, give you something, period. Or they, they could be trying to make up a scenario and tell you that they don't know what happened to something or somewhat, something or like an ID or a copy, whatever it is. Whatever it is. It's, it's really, there's a lot going on there. Oh, man. The night, what is this? The chariot energy is there next to the, the, the camp cups. So the chariot will be cancer. You got a lot of major arcana energies coming in here. So you have cancer, you have, or that's just travel as well too. Cancer, partnership, Gemini, justice, Libra, Libra, cancer, Gemini. Camp cups will be any water sign. Could be cancer, that's the camp cups energy there. That could also be Pisces and Scorpio. You know, that they're men. The cancer that's here could also be a cancerian female can also be cancerian male that the spirit is uh, solidifying that or the partnership that you have with the water sign energy that is a male or is a gemini you know but the cancer is here in the accomplishment because you may need to talk to the cancerian energy whether they're male or female having a conversation with them the knight of swords the Knight of Swords, the Cancerian energy could be embodying Knight of Swords energy there, but paperwork. So when I said that too, they are embodying Knight of Swords energy because of paperwork. So as Swords, if it's a water sign energy that's coming in with that kind of information, the Swords are here, that would mean that it's electronic paperwork that the water sign energy is trying to bring in to you. Or they're trying to like, lim they're trying to either limit or not give everything at once because of taxes they're trying to limit or not give everything at once that you need or you're looking for because of taxes or something that they're trying to do with your information and theirs pertaining to taxes that's why the knight of swords is there with the chariot and the king of cups energy if it's a cancer that is coming in like that could also be a scorpio and pisces but they may do something all the time if it's a water sign energy that's a male that's why the justice is there. Um, next diagonal diagonal from them with the Knight of Swords energy being in the waiting position. You know, whatever it is. And and to investigate, um, I get in getting the idea of corporate too. So um, if this is a corporate, you know, you may work in an organization that, you know, it could be corporate work. Um, it could be, you know, someone that is in a higher position than you in the workplace that um, may disperse some type of information that you do have or uh, documents and those things and things of that nature. If it's like corporate or someone that is, um, you know, like a higher up that you have, um, I get complained to. There's a higher up that you may have in your workplace that you may need to complain to. The higher up could be the Camp Cups. The higher up could be one of the air signs. You know, the higher up could be the higher up. One of the higher ups could be like an one of the water sign energies that are here. You know, or it's one of the air sign elements that's there. Hmm. 
whatever it is, complaining to someone about an ID. If you, for example, if you're inquiring about an ID that you're supposed to have, you could be complaining to either one of these elements or inquiring about that to one of these elements that are right here. And their responsibility is to resolve the complaint or at least clarify the inquiry or get information about your inquiry to someone that is their higher up. And that person may either be, um, um, that person may either need to send you an email or they're not going to send you an email or they're not going to listen or they're going to listen, whatever it is. And the complaining doesn't have to be only uh, ID and information. A complaining, the idea of complaining could also be uh, with the tax related situation with those documents or just a person that you are working with. Something is happening with one person that you are working with. It doesn't have to be bad. It could just be one person that you're working with. They, if it's in a workplace, something that they, something that they, it could be something that they inquired about that does belong to you that they may have just been given, you know? And it could have something to do with an ID that, you know, I understand. I understand the situation with that is... For example, oh, it's going to be a long example. For example, say you have, you know, in some cases when you're getting mailed certain things, you have to, you have to call and get something activated by a certain time. So for example, say you, okay, say for example, you get mailed something, but you're not calling to activate it in time. Somebody then is inquiring Okay, someone then behind the scenes that you work with or whatever, or you just know, whatever it is, something, somebody there is um, inquiring about using something that you either waited too late to, what do you call it, either resolve or you waited, you're waiting too late to, um, what do you call it, waiting too late to, I forgot what it is, I was going to say, like waiting too late to, uh, activate something like an ID or a card or something and it could be like a gift card or whatever you know it could be gift cards electronic gift cards and those kind of things or deposits like electronic like pay something could be going on with electronic pay like direct deposit pay and those kind of things you know or something that you're supposed to get mailed like at home something there too hmm. The spiritual self has uh, the full sign of Aries. Um, there's a lot of major arcana here. So you have Aries, you have Aries, Libra, Cancer, probably Pisces, Scorpio, whatever. Libra, Gemini. And the Aries element um, is here too. And the Aries element may ben benefit off of something as well. If it's an Aries or, but I get this feeling of trying to get to know too. So if you don't already have an Aries element that you could have just met a new Aries element, you could be trying to get to know that person. And that is swords it's right next to them. They could have air in their sign, whether they're a man or a woman. You know, if it's a, uh, Aries that's there, you know. But trying, what's interesting about this with, uh, with the Aries element and them trying to get to know you is that they one interesting point about it is that they I also get this feeling of having information about you if you don't already know the Aries element they already they may already have information about you and that may be through the Knight of Swords is right next to the Aries so it could be information that they were able to gather that they were able to gather from an air sign. Either it's a Libra, it could be an Aquarian, it could be a Gemini, that the Aries may have conversations with. Or the Aries may have conversations with the King of Cuts energy already. It's like someone already had, um, I also get information, someone already had a conversation about your information or what happened to it or whatever it is. Or it's verbal information about you that someone is trying to obtain. And it could be the Aries element there. Someone maybe, you know, whoever, uh, if it's, I mean, the Aries could be someone that you already know that is doing that, or it's related to mail and benefits and cards 
that they use that are yours too. Or another scenario is if you don't already know the Aries element, then they but did research on. So not knowing the Aries element, they could have done research on you by themselves or an air sign element that you're tied to, they may already know or that they're communicating with to get that information about you, whatever, something like that, you know, and it could just be to get to know you as a person, you know, besides IDs and, and other kind of, and you know, other information like that. They may know someone at your job, you know, they may know someone that you work with already, you know, those kind of things, if they're not someone that you know, you know, so the chariot in the accomplishment next to the camp cups would be information about Aries. The chariot in the camp cups is also information about an Aries element, whether they are male or female. Traveling to that person to get to know someone else, or that could be something that the camp cups energy is trying to do with you pertaining to the Aries energy as a male or female. Or Gemini or Libra does that. Or Gemini and Libra, either one of those air signs, either they want, they they either they want you to get to know an Aries element, or they don't. Or one of those elements could be a partner or a workplace partner, love partner to the Aries element. That's why the Knight of Swords energy is there, you know. The Knight of Swords energy in the waiting position, if you're dealing with a Gemini and a Libra diversions, they're like something about their energy is like a diversion from something that you want to do with either the King of Cups, one of the Cups energies, or it's an Aries element, you know, because that may already be their partner or their friend or whatever it is. Hmm. The Queen of Wands energy is in the mentality. So Queen of Wands would be an Aries female, Sag female, or Leo element. That's a female with a Gemini. And you could already have a partnership with the Queen of Wands. Or it's Gemini and um, Queen of Wands energy that you're thinking about. They're up in your head space. Thinking about working with them. You know? If it's a Queen of Wands in partnership, you're thinking about work. You already work with them or you're thinking about working with them, you know, or just doing something with them. Or it's who they're tied to. It's someone that they're tied to that is, I also get causing problems. Someone that they're tied to may be causing some type of problem. And who they're tied to could be the King of Cups. Who they're tied to could be, um, who the Queen of Wands energy tied to could be one of the air signs. It could be a Gemini, it could be a Libra. It could even be, or it's a King of Cups energy that they're tied to, but don't want to see you with. So when I say that they may not want to see you with, the Queen of Wands may not want to see you with a King of Cups, a Gemini, or a Libra. Or the King of Cups, the Gemini, or the Libra may not want to see you do something with or be with. The Queen of Wands energy. Or something's going on here separately from, if it's not only a Queen of Wands, then there's an Aries. I kind of see the Aries element, like the Major Arcana Aries could be like an Aries male energy and that they like. It's an Aries male that a Queen of Wands energy likes, you know, and the Knight of Swords next to them. They could just be coming in. I had a date. They could be coming in, you know, with a date or something, but the Queen of Wands energy likes Queen of Wands energy likes an Aries male. They do or they do not. Or, but I feel like they're already tied to a King of Cups energy. Or they once dealt with the King of Cups energy before. But it's in what their dealings, the Queen of Wands dealings with the King of Cups is just pertaining to your information. The Queen of Wands dealings with the Aries male and liking. And that has to do with some type of liking that that element has with you. But they already deal with a Queen of Wands, you know, and you may have already had an interaction with the Queen of Wands. That's why the lovers is there with the Queen of Wands energy, you know, which is really interesting. Or they really like the Aries male, if it's the Aries male that is showing up there. Mm. 
What's changing is the Ten of Wands energy. It's in a changing position, which is really good to see. Um, you don't have to deal with any kind of battle with them or, you know, any of the Aries elements or any other fire sign energy that you could possibly have around you. Um, that's going, this, that's not really an issue. It's in a changing position, you know? But I also get this feeling of, you know, what does this person, you may want to know what they want, you know, what they want with your things, what they want, um, or information in terms of what they want could be, what do they want with your things or what do they want with something that you're trying to do with someone? What do they want? Or they inquired about, they inquired uh, about a bond that they noticed that you're, their partner, they're inquiring about a bond that you're trying to formulate with their partner and their partner could be the water sign male their partner could be a gemini their partner could be a libra their partner could be a, um aries another aries element or a cancer libra whoever one of those elements could be their partner you know hmm. like they're they want to know they may have heard they may have overheard a conversation happening between one of those elements. So either it's like information and documents and ideas that they're trying to obtain or these elements are trying to obtain for themselves or they're trying to obtain for this enemy. And I almost said enemy. They're trying to obtain for the Queen of Wands or something's going on with a liking that either one of these elements has with you that they don't want to see happen. But something may happen anyway with the Ten of Wands in a changing position. Whatever it is. But one of them is there. One of the elements there that they're coming in like that. And information, like I said, doesn't have to be document information. Key of Cups may just be interested in something that you have going on. Queen of Wands is their partner. They may be trying to stop that. Gemini may be interested in something that you have going on. Queen of Wands may be their partner and they're trying to cut block that. <laughs> then there's an the Aries element or the Libra, you know, whether male or female. Or it's another air sign, could be an Aquarian energy there too, that they are tied, help them. They help the Queen of Wands or the Queen of Wands helps them, but something's going on with noticing, something is going on with those elements and a liking that either one of those elements and a liking that they have. It was, it's really interesting, <sighs> it's a really interesting scenario to be in because I just felt this idea in my head just now where... Where there's elements that they, one element about this is that there's people that they want to, um, I also get I, this idea of a craft. There's elements that they want to learn or understand your craft and your craft could be your skill and expertise and work, whatever work that you do. There's elements, but what's happening there is that those elements help the Queen of Wands energy to information that may be yours and information that is yours could be documents and those kind of things that they need for themselves or these elements need for themselves but there's this element of a diversion where they okay there's an element of diversion where they don't want this is like you know coming and being friendly but they this is coming and being friendly but using something that does belong to you or coming and being friendly to obtain information to give back to someone else coming and being friendly to use and obtain information for themselves and to give to someone else as well so it's verbal information or it's document information you know and that could be the only reason why certain elements are here or certain elements are um, the certain elements that are there, maybe watching you in whatever environment that you're in, but it could be just for the Aries or, or, it's a, or a Sag female or a Leo element that's a female and something that they ask, something that they ask the King of Cups, something that they ask the Libra, something that they ask the Aries male, something that they ask a Gemini energy that's male or female or an Aquarian, something that they ask them all the time. The Nine of Swords energy is in the resolution going towards the Ten of Cups. So the Nine of Swords could be energy that you're feeling in your mind. Or it's Ten of Cups energy. It could be Nine of Swords feeling that you have about family. Or someone in your family. You know. 
you know, some that something that family did or someone in your family did or some that you know, something that you know someone in someone in your family is doing. Or the Ten of Cups could also be a family feeling that you you have or you thought you had in a workplace. Fam, the idea of family could also be friends that you have or you thought you had. But it's like these it's some elements here have a motive that is so there's elements that have a motive that is really interesting that you may not be seeing you know so it's a libra somebody somewhere around them they may have a motive it could be an aries male but genuine something is genuine about an aries male that's cancer the pisces the gemini it helps aries those elements help an aries element that is aries female or sag female leo female they help them they help them and or they found a way to they the uh the queen of wands found a way to contact friends queen of wands could have found out a way to contact friends that you have and have conversations with your friends about what they need i don't know something like that that's why the nine of swords energy is in the resolution going towards ten of cups so that could be happening with family that could be happening with uh, in a friend group. That could be happening in a business deal. Yep. With Queen of Wands and Gemini and documents and information and whatever it is. All right. So you got Libra. You got Cancer. You got Pisces. This water sign male is there. Uh, could be female. Then you have Aries element showing up here like an Aries male. Then there's Sag, Leo. Uh, Aries, female, Gemini, energy could be a male or female. All right. All right. Let's see. The outcome is here. Okay. So the sun is there. Um, you, this says there's success with, uh, there's success with a partnership, uh, that you have that's why I'm looking at the Gemini energy there could be success with a Gemini doing something specific with a Gemini or it's just success to uh, uh, something that you're thinking that you're gonna get resolved may you may deem that to be an element of success as well too you know or you're still successful whether whether there's elements um, I deceive whether there's elements that may something may be deceptive about certain people here but you know someone may be deceptive about them or you using your intuition that they you you could just be using their information i mean yeah i mean that too you could be doing that too you could just be using um they could just be uh finding out information about them or their motives is what is could be bringing in this uh, element of peace for you as you are successful whatever it is whatever the motive may be and someone may not necessarily have a motive. If it's an Aries male, if it's a Queen of Wands, uh, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, they may not necessarily have a motive, but they may help each other. Some elements may help each other to an extent. But you, this is, I'll give you a really interesting example where if you're meeting someone new, that there's a really interesting interconnection that you do have with that person that you may not know you have yet and that may be resonating with the that could be resonating with the air sign or or you know the air sign or you just what they're up to you know the air sign but there's this idea of finding out what the air sign element is up to based on something that they're asking you or the way they're asking you something and that resides with the Libra, that resides with the Gemini, that resides with the Aquarian. There's motives that need to be seen. That's why the Nine of Swords is in the resolution. But there's still success. Uh, there's still success there. And that or the Nine of Swords with the Aries male, but who they know. So Nine of Swords with the Aries male, it has something to do with who the Aries male knows, who the Queen of Wands energy knows. Who the Gemini knows, who the Libra knows, who acts those elements, something, <laughs> whatever it is. All right. All right, Capricorn, that's your reading. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, you know where to find me. Be well. Stay safe. Bye.